that is, that the mind and matter in one's body, they arise due to conditions and pass away second by second, moment by moment. This is happening continually without a break in our being. One must understand this from a theoretical standpoint and one must have faith that this is so, that this is true. All these things which we observe, these dhammas of mind and matter, are, are things which fall apart in their own time. And to accept this in a theoretical way is not accepting due to seeing it in practice, but it is not blind faith either. It is um, something that one needs to accept with understanding. And on top of that, one needs to work in order to see it in one's practice. And in doing this, first of all, one needs to work with respect for the practice. When one works respectfully while one is working, but in between times, does not, for example, the movements such as bending and stretching, uh, changes in posture, uh, while one is, these, these, all these things also must be observed, not just our sitting meditation, not just our walking. And before coming into the hall today, so there would be observed a male yogi who went to his place and sat down without mindfulness. And that means that regarding the work of observation, there is either not respect or there is not continuity, constancy of working. One has to work without a break. The work needs to be constant. And if these two factors are complete, respect for the practice and continuity, then the yogi will um, If these two are complete, then the the yogi will start to develop knowledge stage by stage, for sure. Uh, Especially it is the case with the male yogis and the monks that they uh, do not pay attention in this continuous way. Uh, And for that reason, although people have been practicing for many days, um, some are not able to speak yet about um, what they come to know during their practice. If one practices with respect and with constancy, with continuity, then in seven days one's faith will start to develop because of what one, the development in one's practice. And so for this to happen here, as you spoke, um, to urge the yogis in an ordinary, using ordinary terms, not using scriptural language, but he has also uh, lately um, spoken from the scriptures and in detail so that the yogis would understand more. And yesterday he uh, reached the third out of the nine causes for sharpening the controlling faculties, the ruling faculties, And this is an important chapter, and so today he will continue to speak about it. Siyata Jesala Siyata Nama Tauru Siyata Nama Sonu Nyevori Tukitavara Tumantiyaro Ma Yogi 
సరిగ్రహి నీతి రాదు టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఆరు థర్టీన్ థౌజండ్ చూసే హారు ఇరవై తొమ్మిది థర్టీ చూసి హారు ఇరవై తొమ్మిది తొమ్మిది థర్టీ చూసి కో 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 నేను కాబోజే తప్పి చాలా మేవారు పట్టి చాలా మేవారు కొయ్య కలిసి చాలా వాడు దగ్గరే సొంతి నేతి చాలా మేజవాడు అది మేము కొయ్యి కూడా పట్టేటట్టు చాలా చూసి కో సూ పట్టేటట్టు చాలా చూసి కొంచెం చూపించారు నాకు లేదు లంజాగు అంటే మొత్తం నాకు చేయండి లంజాగు కాదు చదువుతారు పట్టణం ఇది పట్టణాలు సిఈ నౌకిగా బీసీ వారు సిఈ నౌకిగా నీకు ఎంత వారే ఏ వారే చంద్రు గారే అది తెలుగు చూస్తున్నాం ไอ้เนี่ยคือคือว่าคือเป็นเงินเดือนที่ดีก็คนละตัวเลยนะตัวเลยแต่กูกูกูไหนๆเนี่ยอุตส่าห์เนี่ยอุตส่าห์เนี
is something that every person in the world should possess. And if one has this ability to reflect and beneficiality and suitability, then one will um, put the necessary energy, the energies into one's mind so that one can govern oneself and keep from harming others. Meditation practice is for putting these mental powers into the mind, the necessary mental powers. ก็ได้มาเมื่อเราเอาชีวิตเราเข้าไปแล้วเราจะเอาเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ
do you happen when one noting is following another is following another the notings are happening without a gap and making one's observation one's moments of observation continuous like this is what is meant by working constantly or satisfactoria working so that there is no gap so when the, uh, one observes the rising when it arises and then so that what has started does not just end there one tries to make the next noting happen too once one notes one, one thing one tries to follow it by another noting immediately so that um, what is started will not be broken and when, apply, when one applies out in effort and accurate aiming then one will know what one is doing one will know the times when the mind connects accurately with the object falls collectively on the object and one will know when one misses so one will know the, the, the times that one is continuous and one will also know the breaks in one's continuity if one works in a superficial way then one will not know whether one is um, with, the, with the object or one, whether one is missing the object one won't be aware of the parts where there is continuity or the parts where there is a gap the people who practice with respect for the practice try to uh, be applying our own effort and aiming all the time and therefore they know when they are able to do this and they also know when they miss they know as soon as they miss and this is how one has to this is the way one has to develop the practice and such yogis are also able to um, explain to the teachers fully what it is they experience as they go about trying to observe the rising and the falling time and again ยังยังนี่ก็ลงไปนี่ที่นี่ที่ได้เลยนี่ดูเนี่ยขาดมาตรงนี้ลงสักเส้นเสียเอ๊ะปุ๊บก็ยังรู้สึกปูเลยตั
ఇచ్చిన తర్వాత ఇదేం చెప్పమా అది రెండు రోజులు నాయమా చెప్పిన ప్రయోజన అభివృద్ధిగా ఇచ్చేస్తే మంచిన్నావా ఇప్పుడు నాలుగు నాలుగు ఇచ్చేస్తే బాగా అభివృద్ధిగా పోయినావు ఇరవై ముప్పుతో లేదా పుద్దాక కౌమలారా లేదా తిరిగి దా కౌమ కాదు అని చెప్పారు People in the olden days, before there were masses, before there was electricity, when they needed a fire, they had to rub dry chips together. And when they did this a lot, rubbing two, two dry chips together, applying effort constantly, the sticks would get hot. And when it would get hot enough, then the fire would break out. And then they could use that fire to uh, relieve the cold or to cook or boil something. And the person who started the fire in this way had to work continually, constantly. They could only stop when the fire finally broke out. Yogis, too, are like this. They have to work in this constant way. They have to work to observe every arising object, applying art and effort and accurate aim, so as to always be coming into contact with the object, to always be rubbing against the object. And they aren't able, if they stop, it won't be effective. Just like the person trying to stop, or trying to start a fire by rubbing two sticks, If that person stops, there won't be any possibility of the fire breaking out. And without the fire, one won't be able to do the work. So in the old days, this is what people had to do. They had to work continuously, constantly, to work at getting the fire started. And only when the sticks were hot enough would fire break out. So yogis are like this person trying to start the fire. So they have to, uh, from the very moment they wake up in the morning until the final moment when they fall asleep at the end of the day, they have to observe every action. They have to observe what they do, lifting, moving, placing, bending, stretching, opening the eyes, closing the eyes. So all the actions that one, one makes must be observed. And only if one, one's observation is constant will the obsessive defilement, the pariyotana shilesas, be suppressed. And um, if one starts, then if the, the mind won't be warm. If one stops one's observation, If, one, if there are breaks, then just like the two sticks become cool and the fire can no longer break out, so too the mind becomes cool. And when it's cool, it's not able to prevent the chelators from coming in. This is what happens. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. పట్టణాలు చదువుతూ బాగా కొన్నారు కోడై ఆయోగం చాలా ఇచ్చారు మీరు ద్వారా తమ్ముడు చూడాలి అదొక తాగారు తమ్మీ 
ਉਹਦੇ ਸਭ ਕੋ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਹੋ ਵਾਲੇ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੁਣਾਤੀ ਅਰਮਾ ਚਾਤੀ ਅਸਾ ਤੂੰ ਤੂੰ ਆ ਤੂੰ ਤੂੰ ਨੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਨੋਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਤੂੰ ਆ ਤੂੰ ਤੂੰ ਅਰਮਾ ਚਾਤੀ ਤੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਤੀ तो प्रथम आता है उसके लिए तो ये तो वहां तो तो अभी हो गया तो ये तो ये बारे अभी हो गया तो ये मेरा धर्म जो उसका पूरे हो गया तो आगे जाओगे ये मिली हुआ वो मिलने तो वो तो तो से था था और रूप में आती है वो रूप में आती है दुख से दुख है बहुत संतान की बात है तो ਤੂੰ ਕੋਲ ਬੋਲਿਆ ਬੋਲੇ ਜੋ ਲੱਗਾ ਰ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸੰਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਮਾਈ ਉਹ ਤੇ ਤੂੰ ਕੋਲ ਨਾ ਸਮਾ ਨੀ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਖਾ ਲੋ ਬੋਲ ਦੇ ਲੋ ਸੀ ਸੀ ਆ ਬਾਰੇ ਨੀ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਕੋ ਬੋਲ ਇਹ ਸਾਈ ਦਾ ਮਾ ਤੇ ਜੀ ਤਾਂ ਬੋਲ ਦੇ ਦਾਰਾ ਕਿ ਸੇ ਤਾਂ ਹੈ ਤੂੰ ਵੀ ਆ ਬਾਰਾ ਦੇ ਜਾ ਉਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਕੋ ਹੈ ਨੀ ਜਾ ਉਹ ਨੀ ਖਾ ਲੋ ਨਾ ਚਾ ਬਾਰ ਜੇ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਲੋ ਮੋਟੇ ਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਨੂੰ ਸੋਹਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਤੇਰੀ ਦੋਰੀ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਬਾਤ ਤੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਮਾ ਸਾਲੋਂ ਨੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਇਹ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਨਾ ਲੋ ਲੋ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਯਾਰ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਕੇ ਲੋ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮਾ ਸਾਲੋਂ ਨੇ ਬੋਲ ਪਾਰ ਸਾਲੋਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸੰਗਾ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਗਿਆ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਨੇ ਨਾ ਦੇਖ ਲਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਅਕੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਾਲੋਂ ਨੇ ਰੋਣੇ ਬੋਲੇ ਲੋ ਮਾ ਉਰੀਆ ਲਾਵਾਰੇ ਤਮ ਉਰੀਆ ਲਾਵਾ ਉਰੀਆ ਲਾਵੇ ਕਿ ਹਨ ਕਿੱਤੀ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਅੰਤ ਵਾਰ ਦੇ ਲੈ ਲਾ ਲਾ ਵਾਰੇ ਤਮ ਨਾ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਵਾਰੇ ਤਮ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਉਪਰ ਤਨ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਤਾ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਉਪਰ ਤਨ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਰਾਜ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਸਿੰਘ 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 ਦੇ ਕੁਝੋ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਬਾਗੋ ਜਾਣਾ ਤੇ ਸਾਥੀ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਨੇ ਜਿਸਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਸਿੱਧੇ ਤੋਂ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤੋ ਬਾਹਰ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਤੇ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਸਿੱਧੇ ਤੋਂ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਅਰੇ ਤੋਂ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਆਓ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਤਾਂ ਕੋ ਕੋ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਥੀ ਚਾ ਕਰੀ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਕੋ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਸਿੱਧੇ ਮੱਤਿਆ ਤੁਲਾ ਉਰੀਆ ਸੁਭ ਅਤ ਤੂਲ ਦਿਸਵਰ to know the mind and matter in us which are related as cause and effect first of all one has to know the natural characteristics called sabhava lakana and to know this one needs to observe every arising object without a gap one has to try to bring about this type of constant observation and at first it's not possible to have continual observation but one should make up one's mind that I'm not going to miss one should simply just hold that attitude for for one to develop this constant effort one needs to have effort in three but on three levels three kinds of effort the buddha himself spoke about this the first is called arambha dhatu that is initial effort the second is nakama dhatu that is the stepped up effort needed to overcome difficulties and the third is parakama dhatu that is effort which goes up stage by stage progressively until it reaches the goal so regarding the initial effort the yogis have come here 
uh, wanting a way to elevate their life, wanting a way to make themselves truly human, to have a humane mentality, and to develop special human knowledge. So coming here to do this, uh, one one wants wants to have a method for doing this. And just like when a, a person is thirsty, then nothing will do if, unless the person can have a glass of water. Um, so too, the, in order to practice, one needs to have this thirst for the Dhamma. So one not only needs to have faith in the method that this that what one wants can be gained through this method, one also has to have what is called chanda or desire, that is this thirst to gain the results that come from the method, from practicing. Because only if one has the desire to gain the results will one make effort, that is, apply jiriya effort. And when one applies effort, Sati and Samadhi automatically come about. One doesn't need to deliberately create these. And also, wisdom comes later on. So, for Vipassana knowledge to develop state by state, what one needs to have, first of all, is initial effort. And second of all, stepped up effort to overcome difficulties. And third, successive effort to reach the goal. One needs all three levels of effort. Then the person who works to develop these three stages of effort is one who works in this constant way, one who works with satisfactoria. <laughs> ดอสิเซนเนี่ยนี่นะที่จะจะที่ทางนี้ไปเลยที่นี่ลาเดอะโดโดโปอะจินจานี่นี่เลยที่จะเลยนาเดะนาเดะจะเลยตะกี้เล
ยังไม่รู้จะเลยครับยังไม่รู้จะเลยครับยังไม่รู้จะเลยครับยังไม่รู้จะเลยครับยังไม่รู้จะเลยครับยังไม่รู้จะเลยครับยังไม่รู้จ
పేద వ్యూహతు ఇది చేస్తున్నామనే ఇప్పుడు ఆశ్చర్యంలో ชื่อตัดแต่ดูดูคือชื่อเสียงเราเรียกเนี่ยว่าตัวเราคุยอาจจะเสียงตัวเราคุยอาจจะเสียงตัวเราคุยอาจจะเสียงตัวเราคุย
stuck up effort to overcome difficulties and effort to increase his state by state to reach the goal. There won't, uh, this, this effort will not be for nothing. So, try. Try to observe every rising, every falling, every other object. Apply, apply an ardent effort and accurate aim. Without an effort, the mind won't be retracted, the mind won't be slack or sluggish. It will be ready, and no laziness will be able to enter the mind. We should have the attitude that laziness is one of the basest, the, the lowest forms of consciousness. And when we apply effort to observe the object, this effort takes the place of laziness. Laziness can't get into the mind. And therefore the mind won't go to sense pleasures. So that the mind won't go to sense pleasures on every object we try to apply accurate in, as well as out in effort. And then the mind doesn't go to thoughts of things to objects that it likes and one or to thoughts of things that it likes and one also uh, the mind doesn't go to thoughts about wanting to harm others which is a form of anger and and one also has no bad objective because the mind is being placed on the object so this is the immediate benefit that the yogi gains from the practice and when one makes full effort, then the mind is alert and sati follows the application of effort. Sati protects the mind to keep greed and anger from entering into the mind. And this is called rekha. First of all, it prevents them from coming in and it blocks off the way it's like closing the door for the, from these things so they can't get in our and our. and this creates security goti this is the benefit that one gains immediately from doing the practice with the quality of sati the mind sticks to the object therefore it doesn't run anywhere and the mind falls collectively time and again on the object. This is momentary concentration, kanika samadhi, which Sayaraji spoke about before. With this, the mind doesn't go to any sense, uh, desirable sense objects, nor does it go to thoughts about sense objects. The mind doesn't scatter. So if moment after moment these factors are complete, then the benefit will come immediately. But if one works in a superficial way, so that in between moments of observation there are gaps, then in that space one will lose the benefit. So instead of, um, at that moment one gains, a, one does not gain a profit. When one can work constantly, then one will gain a profit. But when one doesn't have respect for their practice and consequently uh, stands up quickly without observing, sits down quickly without observing, doesn't do things the way, slowly, slowly the way an invalid, a very weak person would do, then instead of gaining a profit, one most of the time will be incurring a loss. So uh, in that case, the yogi won't be able to speak about what they observe, what they experience when they need to report to the teacher. For the year, I don't know, I don't know. Tell me to sit up with a feeling of structure for the reason is this is a subject of the year. You better than any people, yeah, 
ตัวนั้นสิ้นสุดที่ไปอยู่ที่เกิดอารมณ์เดียวมาที่เกิดอารมณ์ที่เกิดอารมณ์เดียวมาที่เกิดอารมณ์ที่เกิดอารมณ์
to see levels of effort come to be in the person who really wants to be truly human, who really wants to make one's mentality humane, and who really wants to develop special human knowledge, although they are already human. And Sarahji, for his part, has the responsibility to explain what is needed in order to bring about this result. If the yogis are able to work with respect for the practice and constantly, then those who give the instructions are very happy. So may you all be able to uh, work so that you can be called true yogis. That's all for today.